Well, I guess the project started, we were, we were on a contract together in, in Germany. The idea really came from that duo that we started to do and we, we just did it for fun at the beginning. And from there, we, we thought on creating something. And the wheel were really close together. We're, we're face to face, we're holding each other. I kept having this feeling that it's too much. It's like it's too intimate. I really felt that people would be uh, uncomfortable seeing it. And, I, and eventually, I think I just sort of got fed up with feeling that way. And I was completely driven to do the opposite. I said, okay, now if we make something, we're going to make it uh, true to who we are and exactly um, our story. So, beginning, it's it's all clean. It's uh, it's basically the time in our lives where before we were together. You know, when he jumps in the wheel, it's that's the start of our story. We start uh, really uh, getting closer and closer. And as the color comes, it's when we finally got to that place where we really truly loved each other. So that's it's sort of just a visual celebration of that time of our life. And then as we spin and we draw, it's, it's showing our, our journey through time and, uh, and showing the bond that we end up having by the end. The last day we went to do a, a training to, to get ready for this video. So we were shooting, I think, the next day. Monday. And on this last training day that we went to get ready, that was the day where the shooting happened in uh, Orlando. I saw the news the morning, we were supposed to train in the afternoon and uh, I couldn't stop reading and watching and following what was happening, it was unreal. And uh, I couldn't, <laughs> we, I picked him up and uh, we had to just sit in the parking lot because I couldn't stop, uh, I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> and maybe that seems dramatic, but really it's, uh, I saw just one mother looking for her son and she knew he was, you could tell she knew, uh, she knew he was gone. And um, having just lost my dad, it was just too, uh, I think I'm just too familiar now with what that feels like to lose someone. When we went in the studio the next day to film, it felt like a different project. It felt like it meant something. And um, I knew when we started, it was like, okay, we need, we need to do this. Uh, it felt important. And, um, and I, I knew it would, we would dedicate it to them, for sure. I knew as soon as we started, it was going to be for them. I want to talk about my father as well, because uh, even just briefly, because the reason it's dedicated to him also is not only just because we lost him this year, but because he was Christian completely, but accepted anybody and uh, after years and years of my whole life feeling like I was uh, something to be ashamed of and something I needed to change he was the first one to tell me I was perfect and I didn't need to change I'm, I'm happy we were able to do that because in a way it's a, we still live in a world where we can't always be true to who we are. We can't go outside holding hands in a lot of places because we're not safe, you know? So to say that we're proud of who we are and other people should be too, it felt like the time where the world need, needs more of that. Really, I can't say how many hundreds, hundreds of messages I received from people telling us that we gave them hope and inspiration and uh, empowerment and you know teenagers who are, are scared made them feel better you know I really had uh, young young people writing me saying that we made them feel better about who they are and also older people I've I had some older older uh, men uh, writing me saying that they, they've never come out because they're too scared and we made them feel like maybe they could someday
we are so many people on earth, there is so many religion and so many diversity and all of it, all of it is what makes us great, I think. We are so diverse, so so beautiful in every, in every different way that we can be. And I think most of us can agree, yeah, it's, it's getting better. We're, we can be a little bit less scared if we decide we're gonna hold hands. But it's still a choice, we have to decide, do we feel safe enough to hold hands here? And usually, if we do, even if it's in a nice place, we still are you know, we're stared at where you can feel people's anger or confusion, and it's, it's sad that the world's even like that. I think that's why this video meant something to so many people because we weren't apologizing for who we were and we were embracing it and showing the world whether they like it or not you know it's there 